Holy cow, dude. We got, we're going to have to close early. We only got 46 gifts left. I guess we could go at 6 a.m. Hang on, I gotta unassign myself. I'm, I'm hungry! Stop buying gifts! I gotta... Don't leave! I just needed a second, man! Oh, fuck. <laughs> The walls and floors here are so ugly. Bro, I'm the only gift shop in town. I'm open at 7.30 p.m. Okay, note to self. We don't really have to be open from 8 to 10. There's only a couple customers. Well, never mind. Never mind. It's paid for itself. Although I do have to buy the gifts. Okay, there you go. Did great. 23... 23 gifts remain tomorrow on, on Google Maps. We're going to go to NY Distro. We need to buy more cheap gifts. I think, well, maybe, you know what? Well, I'm the only employee working. Wait, no, you open at 8? Oh, do you think I can make it in time? <laughs> what, what time does the other one open? If the other one opens at 6? Oh, okay, there you go. Dude, that's a great idea. Drive over there and sleep. It's genius. Okay, well, if we're gonna do that, let's let's uh, eat. Wow, I, I know we could just bring. We got we got some in our trunk. I guess we'll probably be okay. You guys are are the true hustlers. Hey. I did just get a reminder. It's um, it's time for some pog banter because Toasty's uh, laundry is coming out of the washer and going into the dryer or coming out of the dryer and going into the washer. I don't really have any banter, though. I kind of hoped that by this time I would. But uh, it's St. Patrick's Day, top of the morning to you laddies. Hope you're having a good St. Patrick's Day. You know what? It, I've never cared about St. Patrick's Day Really? Ooh. But having a kid, I think it makes you care about like all the you care a little bit more about all the stuff that you previously didn't care about. Like even though it's it I have no connection at all to St. Patrick's Day, I am like you know, hey, it's just a fun little day where I can teach my daughter to wear green. You know, that just a little something to mix up the drudgery of everyday life. Let me let me eat some frozen food out of my car real quick. Put this stuff back in storage and then look at that. I'm just waiting here for it to open up. I am a little scared because St. Patrick's Day on a Friday is like a, you know, once every 7 years sort of phenomenon. And I think that I, I prefer when it's on like a Tuesday or something like that because people, you know, they, they don't have the same... Op I mean, some people, life finds a way, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's kind of harder to get blackout drunk on a Tuesday as someone who is, you know, has a job, but... Today's my dad's birthday, we never go out for dinner. I understand. I, I don't like to be outside on St. Patrick's Day. You know what? You're right. I should get two boxes. Oh, my... I took off 7% of my car's net worth. What's 7%? Of, that was like a $200 smash, man. <laughs> For the last time, we can't afford... We can't afford expensive gifts just yet. But our profit is going to the moon because we don't have employees to pay anymore.
cheap gifts are cheap gifts are cheaper at Costco. Yeah, but I got to close my business in order to save money. Like that's that's not saving money. That's roasted ink. I don't want roasted ink. I want I want my own store. Thrifties gifties. There we go. I can't afford to make a, a wrong turn, dude. Squeeb. Costco's on the other side of the street. Yeah, but their entitled ass doesn't open until... Uh, relax! It doesn't open until uh, 8 a.m. Oh my god. Literally, I had my signal on. So, honestly, that's your fault. I know this is 8 bucks, but... I, I'm, I'm going to be late for work. We open it. Oh, we open at 10. I didn't need to make that turn at all. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I started working seven minutes. Never mind. Can you afford a bed? Sure. If I didn't care about putting rocket fuel into my business right now. I don't know. You, is this the problem with society? Anytime I get a little bit of money in my pocket, everybody in chat is like, buy everything. You gotta, you gotta do triage, man. There's like a, there's a priority queue. And we only have a limited amount of time per day. In like 10 hours a day, we're running our damn business. I'm too stuffed to do that. But I do think, I, I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to expand our business first. Just making sure I got the energy here. But then I then I can get a bed. For now, the park bench is doing just fine. This is the problem, man. So everybody, you start by eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then everybody, as soon as they get their first job, they're like, oh, I'm better than peanut butter and jelly. I'm going to start eating, you know, like beef wellington every single day. No, nah, man, you stick with the PB&J. You invest the difference between beef wellington and PB&J in a low-cost index fund that tracks the performance of the S&P 500. Then you can eat Beef Wellington like a couple of times in, require, in retirement. I'm still doing okay. I know I talked about this like a couple of weeks ago, but I, I read an article. It was like the crazy people who have eaten the same thing for lunch every day. And they had an interview with like a 70 year old guy who eats a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch uh, every day. And he basically, he just said, like, I like peanut butter and jelly. I didn't see, I didn't see a reason to change. And I was like, that's great. Because I, I, I get gaslit all the time. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm the boss. You don't need to tell me that. People are like, really? Cereal with no milk? Are you crazy? I like it. Why, why do I need to... Min max just to find myself at like a higher equilibrium that feels exactly the same. I need to take a quick nap on the, the bench. I guess I, after this, my shift's done anyway. You just got to make it to the end, brother. <laughs> All right, lads. I'm sorry to tell you. I think, I think I may unassign myself here. Sorry to tell you this. I feel like Thrifty's Gifties is closing early today. Okay, fine. I'll assign myself. Okay, no, no, just leave. Okay. Happiness is kind of chilling. Okay, start sleeping. Got a little bit of energy. Go back into your business. Took a quick four-hour cat nap. Move your car. You're <laughs> right. I'm paying eight bucks an hour of parking, dude. Clean the store a little bit. No, no, no. Before I buy a bed, I'm going to invest in the interior of our store. I'm investing in the customer, man. I mean, I know it seems like we're further behind than like we were on our previous run. That's because we didn't start with a $15,000 loan from our uncle. You can't coach that. Hi, Tomo. Tomo, you wanna you wanna get out here? Here you go. Go ahead, buddy. You
You need five grand for interior to work. That's a lot. 150 bucks in parking? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I should have just paid Zach, man. Squeeb. There you go. That literally. I moved my car. I moved my, all I did yesterday is I moved my car. That's 150 bucks right there. And you're gonna tell me you can't find a way to become a millionaire? It's literally easy. I'm not eating before my shift. I'm sorry, it's, it's not gonna happen. I'll just stand here until my shift starts in an hour and a half. Okay, and no, no, I'm, I'm eating when I'm on the brink of collapse. That's the only time I will allow myself to, to eat. Schedule delivery? Bro, I don't need gifts. I got 155 gifts right now. Nobody's at my store, though. Why is... Okay, finally, we got one customer. I need this... I'm, I'm staying open this extra two hours, too. Okay, can you guys pay real quick? Cause I'm gonna, I gotta unassign myself to go have a quick snack. You don't even know. What do you mean least happy man on earth? This is, he's actually doing okay. He was completely depressed like a week ago, but then we started sleeping on a bench instead of sleeping in our car. And now he's at least got a little bit of hope. Hang on, let me see. I gotta, I gotta turn off this reminder. I'm sorry, I didn't have better banter. My only banter was about St. Patrick's Day. I think you should only be allowed to celebrate St. Patrick's Day if you're Irish or you're um, married to an Irish person. Like, if you're just, like, a guy, and you're, like, happy St. Patrick's Day, and it's just an excuse to get drunk, I don't think, I don't think, it's just, and I'll tell you, you might say, oh, what, that's not fair, like, what, the people from Ireland might love it. I'm from Canada. If I got on the bus, and someone threw up on my shoes, and said, happy Canada Day, I would be like, you don't, no, you don't, you don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna work till the point of exhaustion. I'll be like, you, you don't get the, my permission to celebrate Canada Day. Because you, you've, you've, you've abused the privilege. Bro, I'm literally closed. Get out of here. Seems pretty rude of you. It's my day. I'm allowed to be rude on my day. It's kind of convenient to get hit by the ambulance, right? Like... Skip the middleman. Okay, that's pretty good. We made 560 bucks. Let me open Bizman real quick. I want to take a look at my, my customers, okay? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Marketing is at zero. This can, okay, well, I don't care about that. Customer service is at 50. Interior is at 62. That's not too bad. Pricing, oh, dude, if I have 100% satisfaction in my pricing, I should raise my prices. That's why I was losing it. People were talking about, well, Redditors were talking about inflation. And they were like, inflation isn't that high in alcohol products over the last two years. But I'm not going to give them any credit. They had so much demand during the pandemic, they didn't have to raise prices. And I'm like, I'm begging you to take one economics course. As demand goes through the roof, prices should stay the same. Have you lost your mind? That's not the way that that works, man. I mean, I guess you could set the price of whatever you want, but it doesn't make any damn sense. There's complex macroeconomics. Okay, hang on one second. 
I, how do I raise my prices? Inventory and pricing. What the hell? My profit margin, well, no, my profit margin is not 11%. It's down 11%. Cheap gifts, retail, market price, 20 bucks. Okay, retail price, how much, cheap gifts? What the hell? I'm paying $400 for, wait a minute. I'm paying $400 for 20 cheap gifts. No, $400 for 200 cheap gifts. I'm looking at the books for the first time. <laughs> You're paying fourteen hundred for two hundred. I'm paying seven bucks a gift. I'm selling them for twenty. What is this charity? We could at least up this to twenty five, and then see how that affects our our customers. And then, I would like to open Google Maps. Is there an electronics store where I could purchase like a a table and a boombox or something? I guess that th those might just be appliances or furniture. They're at Ikea. Okay. Well, we're going to have to close the store for a day and go to Ikea. But it doesn't have to be today. I guess I think today I got to buy some damn groceries. And you know what? I mean, we're, we're actually cruising now. Probably get a bed too. Again, you got a little bit of money in your pocket. People are like, buy everything. Go go on a trip. It's triage, man. We got to invest in ourselves. I, I can't. I have to buy the soda cans first. Holy cow. Could hire somebody to work for you? Well, honestly, I would if they even ever said thank you, but instead they're just exclusively ungrateful 100% of the time. They're like, oh, I want to work a lot of hours, and I give them a lot of hours, and they're like, not that many. Are you crazy? It's like they're just in it for the money. So true. So true. It's sad, honestly. Oh, I'm closed today. I guess my ass should just go to Ikea today. Furniture store. Man, I, I just can't get over. Like, this is Malf's game, man. There we go. It's also Sip's game. You're not wrong. But like, uh, Mouth, I mean, he's got to get on this, man. One paper bag with 10 soda cans. Sure. Take one of those. Put it back in the car. And then, I mean, I got to... <laughs> should I have to load these cans into my fridge? That's not my business. That's, that's the appliance store. Bing bong. Look at how happy he is, too. Dude, he'll probably be happy after he goes to Ikea. I know I'm usually happy after I go to Ikea. And then when I'm setting it up, I'm like, why did I buy all this shit? I just leave my shit all over the ground instead. Yeah, I don't really know why I'm closed on Wednesdays. But you know what? We'll just take that as a gift from the Almighty above. I'm, I'm realizing, you know what? The tutorial taught me. I have to be good with my car. Don't, don't give any... Every time I hit my car against something, that's money coming out of my pocket. Why are you... Oh, okay, because it goes green, yellow, red here. I closed to get my PhD. Ah! Oh, that's right. 
They must have. Ikea can't not have a parking lot. You can't have a street parking only Ikea. Because you need to load all these like heavy boxes into your car. There we go. And then... Dude, that's the greatest parking spot of all. But you know what? At Ikea, you also, you, you usually pull in instead of back in. Because you gotta get access to your trunk. Beautiful, beautiful parking job. Right next to that guy? Yeah, dude, because it's freaking the best spot. It's not a urinal. I need a... Oh, there they are. I need the classic Ikea cart. Okay. I mean, we could get some food here. if we. Oh, honestly, what do you got? Do you, you got sodas in there? I'll, I'll put a soda on the cart. It seems like I might get a little... I might run out of energy. Oh, that's a fridge. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we start here. What do we want? We, maybe a bed, okay? If we're feeling frisky with it. And we want a, a stereo. Please let me know if you see a stereo. I don't really want a speaker. I would just like a like a one boombox, basically. There's the stereo. Could you could you be more specific, please? I don't want a speaker Mark II. I want I want a like a, a a clock radio. Now I forgot what I was getting. I'm getting a bed. I'm here to get a bed. Four hundred bucks standard bed. We'll add that to the list. What's this? A little desktop computer. Some shell. I'm not getting a king size bed. You got to be crazy. I'm not buying a PC setup. I don't need it. It's just a distraction. Almost broke the game. Just highlighting everything available here. Speakers play music on their own. If I buy a speaker and then I try to play it and it says like, oh, you don't have a... Uh, this isn't connected to Bluetooth, I'm going to lose my mind, okay? Just so you know that. It works, I promise. Okay, because this is a $300 speaker. That's no joke, brother. <laughs> it's pricey. Does it need a table? Good point. I, we, you know what? A table would, would hit the spot. Thank God I took the day off, man. I don't need something like that. You know what? I'll just take something like this. $390. How about this one? Three nine. Okay, you know what? We're going to make this bitch look like the Apple store. Can you, can you open the stroller for me? Sure. Is it out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody's gangsta when we're putting together IKEA furniture. Until they need a stroller unfolded. Then you know who they're calling. Sometimes you need a scalpel and sometimes you need a sledgehammer. Okay. This is again, like every purchase I make is like 60% of my net worth. Where's the parking lot? <laughs> Excuse me. 
Dude, all these slow pokes, man. Take him forever. You don't jog everywhere? Dude, you want to get your ankles, like, uh, bruised? All these people walk to Ikea? Took public transit? Like, what's wrong with you? Now, have some respect. This is Ikea. This isn't El Gato Food Mart, okay? We bring the flatbeds back. Enjoy carrying your whole couch home. Now, open Google Maps, set destination home. Which is, a, does it, error does not exist. Oh, I meant uh, my office. Okay, careful, careful. Remember, drive like you mean it. Boop, 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 boop. And don't even get me started. I'm looking for Peloton rides to do this morning. 30 minute indie ride. Track two, smile like you mean it by the killers. I didn't do the ride because I was insulted. The killers are not an indie band. They're just, they're, they're, they're maybe rock alternative rock, not indie. Okay, take me over here true but the song's a banger listen it's about the principle of the thing okay hang on i'm getting a little turned around here that's my business which means we got to pull a legal u-turn a legal u-turn and i just got to squeeze right by you i'm sorry then just wait for the light to turn okay then this is very important that i get my parking spot i know he's going to take it if i don't take it you gotta you gotta seize the gap when it exists i i I'm not messing with you I don't feel comfortable with this parking job just because I'm worried people will hit my car and then I'll lose condition. I would like it to be a little bit back from the road. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, you know what? Start me with the, start me with the standard bed. Maybe on the way back we'll take the hand truck so we only have to take one more trip. That's not my business. Sorry. That's my mistake. And then just... I'd like to have a door on this room, but you know what? This is not that big of a deal. Dude, it would be amazing to set up a bed in someone else's business. Like, set up a bed in their coffee shop, so as soon as you wake up, you're like, boom, coffee right there. I didn't bring the... The hand truck with me, but that's okay. Dude, you trying to you trying to get a you trying to cop a vehicular manslaughter charge? <laughs> this play, I don't think this is where it should go. Now that I think about it, I think you got to pick this up. There you go. That looks nice. I thought I bought a, a white table. <laughs> it was supposed to look like a damn Apple store in there. Relax, please. I've made that mistake at Ikea before. Maybe you, not me. It doesn't even go on the table. It goes on the ground. Anybody want to buy a table? Is it on? I can't tell because I turned the music down to zero in the game. It should have like a little do 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 like like arrows coming out of it or something. Consume some fresh food. What time is it? 6 p.m.? I mean, honestly, I feel like we should sort of celebrate. <laughs> we could get to sleep in a bed for the first time. Oh, we should clean a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me let me check something here. Biz man. Pricing still 100%. That makes sense because we were closed today. I feel like we can close at 8. I feel like we can be open 10 hours a day. Give us some time to manage ourselves. It's called work-life balance. Bro, the store... Oh, it's open. Um, sorry. Um, 
I guess I'll assign myself real quick. How do they like? I, well, you know what? We'll get some valuable market research here regardless. Uh -huh. oh. Dude, the, the radio is bringing them in. Pricing? 100%. Back to the door is kind of crazy. Yeah, I feel like I could be robbed, like, pretty easily, but so be it. Let me get a... Oh, excuse me, this store might not be very clean, and cleanliness is next to godliness. You get a little money in our pocket, we work on the interior, then this place is really going to start popping off. Dude, three hours is, has gone by, like, so fast. That's the thing. I'm, I, I gotta, I gotta be my own man. I can't rely on the game to, to you know, tutorialize everything for me. I think it's nice to manage it yourself. Get this out of here. You should rely on chat instead. Don't flatter yourself. It's like two people in chat. It's not every everybody in chat is like, oh, I'm helping. You're not helping. There's like, there's two people that are helping a lot. And I do appreciate them. Okay, quick nine hours of sleep. We still made $67. We were closed for almost the whole day. It's crazy. You know what? I'd say at this point, we can afford to even... You know, eat some food before our shift. I know it's a luxury, but... Hang on. Start me up. Assign myself. Time machine to the start of my shift. To maximize our, our food efficiency. Whoa. Windows? I can't afford this place. Now put me on fast forward time. I, at this point, I honestly don't see why I would buy an apartment. Why wouldn't I just have put, sort of set up a gaming PC in the bathroom? Like a game in the bathroom? It even saves me a trip when I gotta go. How we doing? I, I do want to open Bizman real quick. They're still 100% satisfied with the pricing. The interior is worse with the speaker. Adding furniture like tables, bins, and loudspeakers will have a positive effect. That was a lie. I think the music's on. It says now playing on my biz phone jukebox. Oh, it's probably the bed. <laughs> that makes that makes sense. I can see why that would be on sightly. It might be too loud too. I did have the volume at a hundred percent. Maybe we could take it down to like seventy. Honestly, I would take it down to fifty. So I'm laughing. People said, "Oh, this thank God, this is the good remix." It's the music that you choose. It's the music that you choose. Well, I'm gonna need to buy some more gifts, man. I need to buy some more paper bags. I mean, business is booming. Schedule delivery. It's a very good point. Once, once my shift's over in a couple hours, let's schedule a delivery. Oh no, it's over now. Even better. How do we I think we crushed it today, man. Right? Okay, we didn't get a lot of customers yesterday. That's because the store was closed for like the whole day. Well, I'll tell you there's another thing I would add on here. Well, we'll we'll see what how they feel about the pricing once we cross midnight. Let's clean it's up a little bit. It was at like 79% cleanliness. We actually like some of the customers love the store so much they they took matters into their own hands.
You never notice like how much this place really took off once we got rid of Zack? Oh, you're right. 23 cheap gifts right here. Two hundred X cheap gifts right here. My dream would be to be able to buy a shelf and also buy expensive gifts before the end of this segment at noon. I don't know if it's going to be possible, though. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a perfectionist. I don't think I can close the door. I wish I could. How about give me some fresh food and then... I still have 400 paper bags. I can live with that for now. Wake me up a little early. I want to look at my, my business analytics. How do we do today? Take a look at the social blade. Do you see the status? Oh, they love it, dude. The interior's going crazy. They love the cleanliness. We're at, we're at capacity for cheap gifts. We're at capacity. We're over capacity for point of sale. We're over capacity for shopping. Bat no, we're, that means a cash register can handle 20. We got 15 customers. I see. So we could probably expand. But I'll tell you the first thing we could do. We're putting cheap gifts up to 30 if people are still like 100% into it. Well, I'm like, we don't need expensive gifts. If we're already at like peak levels of customers, like we don't, we don't need the, we don't need to offer anything else. We got a nice little operation going on here. We gotta buy another business. You know what? Let me before we invest in expensive gifts. Then, I mean, I'm telling, I'm gonna go psycho mode. Gifts are now thirty-seven dollars each. The market price is only twenty, but there's a difference, okay? And the difference is that we're going to interior design and we're gonna this looks like a great kind of carpet for a gift shop how much is this going to cost me 1700 bucks sign me up my eyes <laughs> it's so bad yeah it's a gift shop i will i will time machine to the start of my shift please i don't well, you know I, honestly i think we can afford to eat hmm. oh man and then because the carpet is so nice people are going to be like yeah no shit the gifts are expensive have you seen the carpet hang on i'm on it i'm not paying that much for my cheap gift he is that's fine. If, you, if your products are priced appropriately, sometimes customers will say, I'm not going to pay that much for it. Take your time. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, we're we're, we're going to open Bizman. We had a lot of people that, that said that's, uh, that's a little too expensive. I'm taking it down to 35. Let's see. Let's see how, let's see how people feel at 35. That's just one person. Hey! Just two people. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm inclined to say that maybe we were already at the highest price that the market would sustain. So I'm just going to go $1 higher than that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Fair. You know what? I understand. We've we priced it so high. There's been some demand destruction. 
You guys are lucky you came in after lunch. Prices are are thirty percent down. We're doing an afternoon sale. You got me. You got me. But look at this now. Dude, they're going crazy for the carpet, too. Are they enjoying the ambiance? We won't know till midnight when the customer surveys roll in. Well, I don't think we're at capacity for the store. I know it said we're at like 15 to 15 customers, but we're not having 15 customers in the store at any given time. We're having like three customers in the store. I just hope I get enough money to like paint my walls. <laughs> it sounded so violent. <laughs> don't sleep that long. We might need breakfast in the morning. Uh, but I'm literally just going to paint the walls. I think we got to wait one more day. Still doing fine. Still doing fine. What a great game. Oops. Paint the walls. Unassign yourself. Okay, one second. Consume some fresh food. You notice I quit the soda habit. Easy. It was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Now... They're still 100% stoked on the pricing. Interior, 100%. They fucking love the carpet. So it's bad business to invest in something when we're already perfect, but I guess we, uh, we're we going to do it anyway. Just It's a matter of principle. It's a long day at the register, brother. Oh, it's, but, or is it perfectly balanced? Look, just in t we're almost dead. Eat a little food. You take a little 10-hour uh, sleep. You wake up. Whoa! <laughs> we can make it through another two days or something. Okay, open the interior designer. What would go nice with these walls? Well, like, let's not go too crazy. How about some, what, what kind of, what's this? Ooh, that looks hideous. I love it. That's it. That's it right there. Store looks like a damn zebra. Can I tell you? It, 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 I actually am started. Maybe it's like uh, Stockholm Syndrome. I'm actually kind of digging it. It is <laughs> Sephora. <laughs> okay, I signed myself. Time machine. Work starts. Oh, no! I didn't eat! I gotta go! I time traveled too far! Sign myself. Time Time machine. Okay, wait, wait till midnight, see how we did today. Eleven hundred bucks, that's not too bad. Now, we, we got eleven hundred extra dollars in our pocket. I think maybe we should open late today. Let me open Google Maps real quick. Strifties, gifties. We want to go to the appliance store. It opens at 9. And we want to go to uh, Costco. We got 10 minutes. I can do this. Open the wholesale store. Set Costco as your scheduled delivery. How? Open in Bizman. Do I have to call him on the cell phone? It's, it is Costco. Yes, you got to call them. Okay, hang on. That's Ikea anyway, isn't it? Yeah, my mistake. Let me, let me, I mean, I know it's 6 a.m., but the grind don't sleep. 
I can't call them. I don't, I don't have... Uh, or maybe it's because they're not open. Either way, today, I'm just going to... Just for today. Today's a Monday. We're closed on Monday. It's the slowest business day for gifts anyway. Everyone knows that. You know what? We might as well get in our car. I forgot I even had a car. That was Tuesday. Are you willing to stake your, your life in this channel on it? What time do you open? You open at 9. Costco opens at 10. I know exactly what I'm doing. Open Google Maps. Take me to... You know, I just sometimes I'm sick of delivery. You know why? Because then like they deliver it. You gotta open all the boxes. You gotta cut up all the boxes. You gotta recycle all the boxes. I'm I'm really like regressing to like going back to the 1990s and just driving to stores and like buying my own shit. At the very least, like they unbox the big box of shit and then put it in like a little box of shit. It's less boxing or unboxing, I guess. Whoa, let's go! Okay, you can turn right on a red. I don't know why I'm rushing. They don't even open for two and a half hours, but you never know what the Costco parking lot's going to look like. I and mean, there's already two people here. Door crasher specials. Now, if you'll excuse me. Opens, oh, it opens at 8. Well. Well, well, well. Thank you. First in the damn door. You know what? While we're here. I guess I got to get out of my car. Pop that in your trunk. I said pop it in your trunk. We need, you know what? Well, I don't know if we can afford cheap gifts and expensive gifts. We might have to make, might have to make a couple trips. Where are we at here? What, I total unpaid total eighteen hundred bucks. So we still got to buy a, a twelve hundred dollars shelf. Skirt. Let's keep it safe. Talk to the manager in the corner. Then you can call them. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Wouldn't every employee in this business die due to the fumes? Start contract. Delivery contract. Thrifties, gifties. Delivery fee a thousand dollars? Eat my ass! I'll just I'll, I'll walk in. I'm not paying DoorDash prices. Have you lost your mind? Thousand dollar delivery fee? That's true. I can call him later at least. Whoops. <laughs> Just looking for an opening. Just gonna squeeze right by you. My car is 20% dead. What's 20% of 2,500? It's like I've spent $500 on this. Okay. It's not so bad. $500 to drive a car for... Uh, <laughs> for 29 days this, you know this seems like about market rate for a new car uh, not a used Honda Civic I guess but Scream. you need some passive income brother it's it's day 29 it's been an in-game month and I'm I'm already I've started my empire
Hang on. You always, it's, it's one of those, you, there's no advanced turn lanes here, so you kind of got to, excuse me, I'm merging. Sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands. I almost sold it. Okay, I'm just very simple. Just take a rounded shelf, please. I know I was here a month ago. You probably thought my ass was gonna go broke. Couldn't be me. Thrifties, gifties. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got a little bit of everything. Don't you, don't even bother yourself. 87 cheapos here. Let me take my hand truck. Excuse me, let me take my hand truck. I mean, my dude's doing pretty well. He's no longer, uh, I mean, he has a bed. That's a start. Store kind of looks like Beetlejuice. Also true. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. He's clinically depressed? No, he used to be clinically depressed. Now he's just, like, sad. But, like, you know, join the club, brother. It's, uh, it's, it's called life, and we meet at the bar. Okay, paper bags go right in there. Paper bag stalker, paper bag. Dear sir or madam, did you like your gift? You need something that you can take it with. It was made by a <laughs> writer with a man named Lear, and I need a gift, so I want to be a paper bag right? Contents expensive gift. And damn, dude, it's only noon. We got three minutes. We could probably do one day. I think if we if we sleep in a standard bed for let's just start with eight hours or seven hours and thirty eight minutes. Cause I'm probably I was gonna say I'm gonna I imagine I'll wake up pretty hungry. Should we sleep me for like another three hours here? Eat a meal. Take a sleep for like another, I'm gonna say eight hours. <laughs> okay, then see how we're doing here. Open in Bizman. Maybe we could do a little cleanliness. We gotta look at our pricing. Expensive gifts, 48 bucks. I mean, straight up. I'm thinking you could charge 55 and then just see how people. I mean, they're exclusive right now. We'll just see how people feel about it. It's a great sound. You don't mop the carpet? What, you don't like my bags? I honestly feel like 98 is pretty good. 99 is a little better though. Okay, shift just started. I've assigned myself. Let's fast forward time. Let's see what people feel about this. Kind of a slow day today. Probably because my ass was closed yesterday. They thought I went out of business. Oh, they are paying this. Oh my God, they love it, dude. They're taking a little of column A, a little of column B, a little of column A, a little of column B. We'll get some market data today. We don't have to raise the prices immediately. We'll, we'll see how people feel about the pricing first. I mean, we could get a little bead on it for sure, but... Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I'd like to unassign myself just for... It's my lunch break. I got like another six hours left. Okay, I'm, I'm just unassigning myself for just a moment. Consuming some fresh food and then going back.
I mean, it's on autopilot, man. I can't wait to see this. And then we'll save and then we'll play some Jackbox. Sure, wake up at 4 a.m. $3,000 a day. 85% satisfaction. They love the pricing. Look, you can take this up to 60. Min. Min 60. We got four grand in our pocket. I feel like we could go debt free if we wanted to.